I didn't believe in aliens until they showed me this. Mysterious journeys of ancient pharaohs thousands of kilometers from Egypt, the mystery of the Gobi astronaut, extraordinary technologies of ancient India, giants in caves, and a huge flying creature from the 19th century. Keep watching to learn about this and more. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Unusual Pandora Viruses in July 2013, scientists in Paris presented results that shed light on an entirely new class of microorganisms called Pandora viruses. This discovery was especially important because the genetic material of these viruses is 94% different from anything previously known to science. This unique structure of their genome became one of the bases for supporting the panspermia hypothesis, according to which life on Earth could have been brought from outer space. Pandora viruses not only expand our understanding of microbiology, but also raise questions about the origin and evolution of viruses in general. They belong to giant viruses that can be seen under a normal microscope and, interestingly, have genomes that are complex enough to allow them to perform unique functions that were previously thought impossible for viruses. Not only do Pandora viruses demonstrate unusual abilities to survive and adapt, but they may also play a key role in understanding how genetic material is transferred between different species. Nowadays, opening Pandora's box has become a catchphrase, which means doing an action with irreversible consequences that cannot be undone. This is where the virus got its name. History of Egyptian Princes the discoverer of Australia was a Dutchman William Janson in 1606. However, scientific evidence from the early 20th century presented an unexpected twist. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs were discovered in Australia. These finds indicated the Egyptians were on the Green Continent 5,000 years before the Europeans. The hieroglyphs were found in the Carrion archaeological site on the east coast of Australia, where they had long been known to local Aboriginal people. These glyphs, called the Gosford glyphs, contain texts that describe the expedition of the ancient Egyptians. These texts speak of the arrival on the Australian shores and the tragic fate of the prince who led the expedition, who died from a snake bite. After his death, according to ancient customs, the body was mummified and buried in a cave. Despite the seeming improbability of such a journey, there are arguments in favor of the possibility of long-distance travel by the Egyptians. Thor Heyerdahl successfully crossed the Atlantic in the papyrus boat RA2, demonstrating that papyrus boats could withstand long voyages. Critics point out that the style of the glyphs does not correspond to classical Egyptian hieroglyphs, but this may be explained by their creation not by professional scribes, but by sailors. The authenticity of the Gosford glyphs has been confirmed by some renowned Egyptologists. The Mystery of the Flying Stones India is always shrouded in secrets and mysteries. In any corner of it, you can encounter something amazing and incredible. Many come here for new experiences to discover unknown spiritual possibilities in themselves. Once you have visited this amazing country, it is impossible to forget it. One of the mysteries of India is the levitating stones in the small village of Shivapur, which is located 200 kilometers from Bombay. Near the local temple, there are several boulders whose weight exceeds 50 kilograms. These stones stones, according to local residents, can rise into the air. It takes 11 men to lift the first, heavier stone. They must stand around it and say certain words. After this, the stone begins to levitate and can be held with one finger. The smaller boulder requires 9 men to lift. There is also a third stone weighing over 60 kilograms, which only the monks of the temple can lift. The origin of these stones is mysterious. Some believe they were sent by the gods, other think they broke off from a nearby rock. A local resident who takes care of the temple claims that the stones break from time to time and he replaces them with new ones by chipping them from the rock. But even new stones retain their flying properties. Some scientists suggest that ancient people were able to move objects with the power of thought, as for example during the construction of the Egyptian pyramids. The knowledge of levitation may have been lost, but sometimes resurfaces in places like Shivapur. Interestingly, in the last century, Edward Litzkalning, an immigrant from Latvia, used similar methods to build his squirrel castle in Florida, which only confirms the existence of such knowledge. These unexplained phenomena support the hypothesis of extraterrestrial influence on ancient civilizations, suggesting that some technologies or methods may have been transmitted to humanity by representatives of other worlds. Changes in Human DNA 
Some scientists are discussing the possibility that alien microbes could interfere with human DNA, causing significant changes to our genetic code. This hypothesis suggests that such microorganisms may not only exist, but also influence human evolution, making us more like them. In support of this idea, researchers point to a number of observed changes in the human population, such as decreased testosterone levels and decreased sperm counts in men. These trends can be interpreted as signs of evolutionary changes possibly caused by external influences, including environmental factors or even the influence of extraterrestrial agents. Decreased testosterone levels and sperm count can have serious consequences for reproductive health and population demographics, making this topic important from both a scientific and social perspective. Go be astronaut! In 1834, in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, the famous English explorer and cartographer Charles Advin discovered a mysterious cave in the rock. Inside the cave was an unusually large skeleton, almost 5 meters in length, with a proportionally enlarged skull and curved ribs. Next to the skeleton lay metal objects, severely distorted by corrosion, but one object attracted the attention of scientists – a stone slab with a map of the starry sky and directions that did not correspond to known star systems. The plate, according to Edwin, was not just an artifact, but a tool for navigation or part of an ancient astronomical device. Interestingly, research has shown that the slab material contains rare earth elements that are not common to the region where the cave was found. This gave rise to speculation about the possible extraterrestrial origin of both the slab itself and the creature whose remains lay nearby. Further examination of the stone slab revealed that the cartographic markings on it could have been used for navigation in outer space, suggesting that the creature could have been a pilot or explorer from a distant star system. Scientists have suggested that the creature's death could have been the result of the crash of its ship, parts of which could have been scattered across the desert and buried under layers of sand for centuries. This discovery has remained little known due to political and scientific disputes over the origins and meanings of the artifacts found, but it continues to cause controversy among scientists and adventurers seeking to uncover the secrets of ancient civilizations. Giants in Sardinia on Sardinia, a mysterious island in the Mediterranean Sea, archaeologists have discovered unique artifacts known as the Giants of Monte Prama. These statues amaze with their size and craftsmanship, and their name emphasizes their exceptional size. According to some studies, these figures could be created based on legends about ancient giants who inhabited the island thousands of years ago. These statues are evidence of the high level of culture that existed in Sardinia in antiquity and possibly reflect the myths and religious beliefs of the time. Time. The giants from Monte Prama are stone figures that depict full-length people, often armed and dressed in traditional armor of the era. Some theories suggest that the figures could have been created in honor of particularly significant persons or heroes of those times, perhaps even real-life giants. This idea is fueled by local legends and traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation by the inhabitants of Sardinia. Thus, the statues giants of Monte Prama leave many questions about their origin, purpose, and those whom they were supposed to depict. The most common opinion about their origin is of course alien. According to some scientists, these statues are completely copies of gas from outer space. Ancient people wanted to perpetuate their image on Earth as a sign of some kind of gratitude. Allegedly, thousands of years ago, some technologies and knowledge were obtained from these characters. Of course, we cannot confirm or deny this, so let's move on. Discovery of Noah's Ark in 1959, Captain Ilan de Ripinar, while working on aerial photography for NATO in Turkey, made an unexpected discovery. At an altitude of 2,000 meters, he noticed unusual geological formations resembling the contours of a huge ship. This discovery caused a lot of controversy and speculation that the found remains could be Noah's Ark. The discovery attracted the attention of both scientists and adventurers. Despite numerous expeditions and research in subsequent years, it has still not been possible to find clear evidence confirming the biblical story of the Ark. However, this region continues to be a subject of scientific interest. In support of the possibility of the real existence of events such as the biblical flood, geological studies in the Black Sea region have shown that a catastrophic flood did occur about 6,000 years ago. This could be caused by massive melting of glaciers, which led to a significant rise in global sea levels. In addition, clay tablets dating from the same period have been found in Mesopotamia. One such tablet describes 
describes the story of a great flood and the rescue of various species of animals on a ship, which has notable parallels with the story of Noah in the Bible. These findings indicate that the motives for global disasters and ship rescues may have deep historical roots that permeate many cultures and civilizations. Sacsayhuaman, Peru Sacsayhuaman, located on the outskirts of Cusco, Peru, is one of the most magnificent and mysterious architectural structures left by the Incas. Although most scholars agree that the bulk of this fortress was built in the 15th century, there are theories that argue that its foundations may have been long before that time. Sacsayhuaman is striking in its scale and engineering precision. Huge stone blocks, many of which weigh more than 200 tons, are folded so precisely that it is impossible to insert a knife blade between between them. These stones were cut and laid with such precision that the fortress became stronger over the years, withstanding the numerous earthquakes that destroyed many other Inca buildings. Some researchers associate Sacsayhuaman with the legendary descent of the god Viracocha from heaven, which adds to the mysticism of the whole structure. According to Incan mythology, Viracocha was the creator of all things and the patron of civilization, and his arrival marked the beginning of a new era of development and prosperity. The Sacsayhuaman complex includes not only military structures, but also religious and administrative buildings, which indicates its multifunctional significance in Inca culture. The complex also contains numerous platforms that are believed to have been used for astronomical observation and ritual ceremonies. Shivalinga in the city of Circe in India, there is a unique place of pilgrimage, Sahasralinga. Here, amidst a natural beauty, there are stone images of Shivalinga, which delight with their appearance especially during the Mahashivahatri festival. At this time, the water level in the river drops, making the sculptures visible and attracting thousands of pilgrims and tourists who want to see and worship the sacred lingas. Shivalingam is a symbol of Shiva, one of the main deities in Hinduism, representing the source of creation and destruction. Interestingly, there are not only religious but also scientific controversies surrounding the Shivalingam. Some proponents of theories about ancient astronauts argue that the Shivalingam may be a powerful technological device similar in function to a modern nuclear reactor. Based on the shape and properties of the Lingam, they suggest that ancient people may have used advanced technology. On the other hand, modern scientists may interpret the Shivalinga as a symbol of atomic energy, which also has the potential for both great benefit and destruction. This analogy emphasizes the dual nature of Shiva, who in the Hindu tradition is both the creator and the destroyer. Giants in Lovelock Cave the Paiute tribe, Native Americans from Nevada, passed down stories from generation to generation about the white-skinned, red-haired giant known as Seti Ka. These tales were first recorded in 1882 by Sarah Winnemucca Hopkins, daughter of a Paiute chief, in her book Life Among the Paiutes, Their Runs and Claims. According to legends, these giants were cruel cannibals. Particularly significant is the story of the battle that took place at what is now known as Lovelock Cave. According to legend, at the beginning of the 20th century, archaeologists discovered thousands of artifacts in this cave, which gave rise to hypotheses about the reality of these legends. The Sitika, or Thule Eaters, tool is an aquatic plant, used rafts made from this plant to cross Lake Lehontan during the last ice age. The Paiutes are said to have eventually united against the Sitika. Chasing the latter, they drove them into a cave. Refusing to come out and fight, the giants were destroyed by flaming arrows, which the tribes fired into the cave, causing a fire. Many of the giants died, the rest suffocated from the smoke. Lovelock Cave, also known as Bat Cave, is believed to be an ancient site that predates the appearance of humans on the continent. In 1886, local Indians told engineer John Tyriot about the legend who was unable to begin excavations. Later, in 1911, miners extracting guano discovered artifacts prompting the first archaeological investigations. In 1924, a second excavation revealed some 10,000 objects, including dug decoys and unusually large sandals confirming the stories of giants. Radiocarbon dating indicated that the cave was occupied at around 1,500 BC. The debate about the existence of giant continues, but many scientists believe that they were simply people of above average height. Finds made in the cave, including a stone with calendar markers and more, can now be seen in museums in Nevada and the Smithsonian Museum. The Mystery of Arkham 
Arkham, often called the Russian Stonehenge, is one of the most mysterious archaeological sites in Russia. Located in the steppes of the southern Urals, this megalithic complex is striking in its size and precision of planning, which makes it similar to the famous Stonehenge in Great Britain, both in astronomical functions and in geographical latitude. Arkham is a round fortress with two concentric rings of walls and streets connecting dwellings, which were built taking into account the astronomical knowledge of the ancients. Research has shown that the buildings in Arkham were built in such a way as to observe 18 astronomical events, including solstices and equinoxes. This indicates a high level of astronomical knowledge of the people who inhabited this region in the Bronze Age. Arkham not only attracts archaeologists, but is also a subject of interest for researchers of anomalous phenomena. Unusual magnetic anomalies are recorded in the area of the complex, which sometimes affect the operation of electronic devices. These anomalies, as well as a number of other unexplained phenomena, give rise to various theories, including suggestions that Arkham could have been used or even created by extraterrestrial civilizations. In addition, the unique architecture and complex water supply system testified to the high level of social organization and engineering skill of its builders. These qualities make Arkham one of the key Bronze Age monuments in Eurasia. Legend of the Flying Creature in 1890, residents of Tombstone, Arizona, witnessed an unusual and mysterious event. During those times, a giant flying creature was seen and even photographed that resembled a pterodactyl, an ancient flying reptile that lived millions of years ago. The photo, however, was never discovered, despite extensive searches and numerous attempts to find it or confirm the authenticity of the event. This incident attracted the attention of not only the public but also scientists, as well as lovers of paranormal phenomena and cryptozoology. The story of the flying creature in Tombstone fits into the larger context of the myth of Thunderbird, a powerful creature from Native American mythology. Depicted as a huge bird capable of causing thunder and lightning, the Thunderbird is an important figure in the culture of many tribes and is often associated with ancient cryptid creatures supposedly seen by people during various historical periods. Since then, scientists and researchers have continued to debate the authenticity and possible explanations for this phenomena. Some speculate it could be a real animal that accidentally ended up in the region, perhaps the last surviving member of an extinct species. Others believe this story is nothing more than a myth or legend, perhaps even a clever invention or exaggeration of real events. Research continues and interest in this story is not limited only to the scientific community. Lovers of mysteries and secrets of the past are also actively involved in discussions and searches for any information that could shed light on this wonderful story of the Old West. What creatures and animals inhabited our planet hundreds and thousands of years ago? What artifacts confirm human contact with an alien civilization? Where did people get mysterious technologies in the past? And how were majestic buildings built? I answered these questions in my previous videos, which I definitely recommend watching. Thanks for your views. See you in new videos.